basically these maple trees they grow like weeds around here in Vermont so look here's another example so this is a big lilac bush and right in here that's a sugar maple and so I think what happens is I, I mean I haven't taken and here's another one that one looks like some insects are getting to it already and I'll show you another area where I've got a bunch of them just growing up like crazy but anyway um, I think the thing that happens is that these things take root but the ground, once they get to a certain size, doesn't really permit them to get any bigger. So this part here, I've got a maple tree over there. That tree is a maple. And there's another one a little bit further back from there. Somewhere in between those trees, that's another one. Um, and so there's a lot of maple seeds that get dropped around here. So here I'll kind of show you what we're dealing with. So, that's a sugar maple. This right here is a sugar maple. And then if I go over here, you can see a lot more. That's a sugar maple tree, that's a sugar maple tree, that's a sugar maple tree. And they're literally all over. Here's another one, there's another one, there's another one all over and then I have other parts of the property where I've got equal amounts of like red maple um, and then I've got beech trees and birch trees like that that just kind of crop up everywhere later in the spring I'll start to see black locusts start to pop up but anyway there's so many of these and I think these, if I just leave them, I think they will all die because they probably can't take root deep enough here. So I'm just doing an experiment to see if I can move them uh, because I do like these sugar maples and if I can move them to different parts of the property um, strategically, you know, it might be pretty cool. So we'll try it out. And here is a red maple. So this one looks a little bit different in terms of the leaves. One in terms of the color, but also just in terms of the shape of the leaves. So let's see if we can get a good picture here. So you have between three and five palmates, but the where they meet, there's actually kind of a sharp corner. So right there, that's a red maple. Okay. So here we go. Got more sugar maples. There's some going out right there. That's another one. And these two trees right here, those are both sugar maples. And we actually tap those in the spring for maple syrup. So let's see, I don't see any right here. Oh yep, there's one. Sugar maple. So I'm gonna go in there. Here's another one. So I mean literally they're just thousands of these things everywhere. I mean you can hardly take a step uh, in the forest without stepping on them. So, let me go over here. There's like this little section of some young eastern white pines. So these are all eastern white pines. But if you look down, that looks like a red maple. Looks like a red maple. Red maple right there. This one's a sugar maple. 
and red maple. That looks like a sugar maple. Um, they're just everywhere. Look. Red maple. Red maple. Red maple. Sugar and a sugar. See how they do.